baby mama dramas? Or is your ex-girlfriend stopping you from seeing your kids and being incredibly difficult? And sometimes is she using the kids against you? If so, I've got three tips for you. I'm Keely Tavener, psychotherapist and founder of Key for Change. My first tip is to consider, consider this. I'm not saying it's true in all circumstances, but maybe she's hurt and at maybe some level she's angry and disappointed with you. She's hurt, she's angry and she's disappointed with you. Now, she may not say that because often people can't say that. So what you might see is some behaviours that you're like, whoa, I didn't know you had that in you. Where did that come from? But know that at some level she may be hurt, disappointed and angry with you. So consider that. Try perspective taking. Think about what it might feel like to be in her shoes. Point number two. Know that actually... You know, single motherhood is very tricky and that was not in her plan. I know when I ended up on my own with my two kids, maybe everybody else saw it, but I didn't think I'd end up a statistic and raising my kids on my own. And yes, that is disappointment. I had dreams and hopes for that relationship. However, they didn't materialise. And that can be very difficult. It can be very difficult when you have to pull yourself together, get yourself up and realise you're out there on your own. Especially as well, I'll say this, for women, our bodies change. When we've had your children, our bodies changed. And when you found us, things may have been in certain places. And after your child has drank from our breasts, they no longer are. And that can be really difficult as we have to then think about moving on and other relationships. So understand at some level, she's going to be disappointed potentially that she's now single and on her own with your children. My third tip to you is consider what was Margaret, Joy, Jane like in confrontation generally? Did you like her feistiness? Hmm. Well, that now might be coming back to bite you on the bottom. But what was she like in conflict generally? Was she someone who would blame others? Was she hostile? Or would she take responsibility? Because potentially what you're experiencing now, if she is being difficult with you, even around the children, you kind of may have known she had that way in her already. So to potentially, if you, you realise actually she's really hostile, no matter what I try to do, she's being difficult, then you might need to seek some legal advice. You might need to make decisions. Because some women, depending on how angry they are, may choose to make your life very difficult. And my fourth tip, you're getting an extra one here today. If I can remember what it was. Understand that if you've moved on and you've got your new partner and you're flashing that around all on your WhatsApps and your Facebooks and your so on and so forth, understand that that may have an impact too. I'm not saying it always does. Because remember, sometimes people act like they don't care. I'm over that. It's game over. Fine. But no, at some level, that may also impact on her too and how she feels. And depending on the type of individual and how the relationship broke down, it may mean that she uses the children against you. And that's a shame. But if that is your situation, I encourage you to get help. So those are my three, four, probably five-ish tips if you're having ex-girlfriend backslash hashtag baby mama dramas. One, consider she's angry. Two, she didn't want to be a single parent. And three, what was she like in conflict situation? And lastly, do consider potentially getting professional help because she may decide to use the children against you. I'm Kili Tavener, psychotherapist and founder of Key for Change. Take care of you because if you don't, we know and you know that no one will.